What's going on everyone? It's your favorite Jealous Hater Apoc and welcome back to the channel where I analyze things that sometimes don't really matter. Okay guys, somehow I dropped the ball in September and forgot to do this, but welcome back to Apoc's Monthly Reslap, where I take everything that I've discussed or exposed over the last month or so and just recap all the bullshit. Okay, let's get it. The first thing I covered in September was a video called The Real Reason Why Oscar Won't Marry Kira, which was about Kira being all cute and quirky, buying a pair of cats behind Oscar's back while he was gone. Which, you know, is kind of messed up because they apparently have talked about this before. And it's really not allowed. Oscar's allergic to the cats. He's made it clear that he doesn't want any animals. Which, by the way, people think she was being malicious, as in getting back at Oscar for going on vacation. Mm -hmm. But out of all the stuff Oscar has done, you really think the trip to Texas is the one to get her to do something malicious? Yeah, no. It was an opportunity, sure. Yeah. But it was probably for ditching her 36 weeks pregnant in a high-risk pregnancy. I mean, you know, maybe that is why, because it was her opportunity. She's just like, I have enough time. I can get the cat, get the cats acclimated to the house, get the kids acclimated to the cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She definitely manipulated the situation 100%. She did. She made sure sure too that was one thing also she brought the kids with her when she got the cats wherever yep. it was i don't know if it was at a shelter i think she rescued them i think it was at a shelter she brought the kids with her to the shelter mm -hmm. to see the cats you don't think they're gonna want the cat? She knew what she was doing. It is pretty funny because in the video, Oscar states he doesn't want to make the decision for the family to like get rid of the cats mm -hmm. because he, well, for one, he doesn't want to look like the bad guy. It is funny. He says he doesn't want to be the one to make the decision. Mm -hmm. While Kira literally made the decision for, for the family. For in the, fact, yeah. she included the kids mm -hmm. over him. And she kept it a secret too because I think she did it like a day or two before. Like, like I said, she did it knowing that the kids would get used to the cat mm -hmm. the cats would come home the cats would get used to their new home she manipulated the situation for sure yeah. she knew exactly what she was doing I mean, she, she did say it in the video. She knew exactly what she was doing. But yeah, it just goes to show the disrespect both of them have for each other. In the video where, you know, he's mad because she did that to him. But then he says, well, do you want me to go back to not thinking of you or something like that? Well, they're like comparing things and Kira mentioned like skydiving. Mm -hmm. Oscar said he can go back to that, mm -hmm. which obviously gave her anxiety. She said something like buying a pair of cats is nothing compared to jumping out of planes, which she's not wrong she's about not that. Wrong, no. Even Oscar agreed. This is the last time you do anything like this again. This is the first or I'm gonna start doing. Did I'm gonna start, or I'm gonna stop filtering my impulsive, stupid decisions that I like to make. I'm gonna stop yeah. filtering them out. Jumped out of airplanes. Yeah, a lot but, more of a risk for our family than having some oh cats. Oh my god. You guys, if, I guess that's kind of true, but I'll go like back to that. Times. I'll go back to that. Like 80 times. 143. Yeah. But I'll go back to that. You want me to start doing something again? Hold it. Don't try me. <laughs> don't try me. No, I'm kidding. No, it's not even that. Just like the everyday little things, like not thinking about you. I don't know if that's oh, me. You do that? No, but like, the, the, like. Wait, that's easy for you? No, I that's think. What you no, no. Do? Okay, that's not what I meant. What I meant is like. When I see the trash is there. But it's also two very different situations. Two very different mm -hmm. situations. Not comparable. No. One's taking care of a life for lives. The other mm -hmm. one's possibly losing yours, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. But then Oscar was trying to make a point that he can go back to the way things were. He literally said, I can go back to not thinking about mm -hmm. you. And she goes, is that really that easy for yeah. you? He was being malicious. And I think maybe that's where they got the whole malicious thing with her was... They're like vindictive they, they towards saw, each other. Yeah. They saw him being vindictive, literally talking about being vindictive to yeah. her face. She was obviously very upset by it too. Oh, you can um, tell. There was no proof that she was being vindictive. There was proof that he was thinking about and discussing being vindictive. Does your audience not see this? Mm -hmm. Oscar literally just said he will go back to not thinking about mm -hmm. his wife. Honestly camera it was pretty evident in that clip that has caused a big problem in their relationship that that was one of the big problems in their relationship was him doing that because her face really showed that oh yeah no it she, really it brought did her probably brought her back to that time where they were struggling yeah exactly you know? Then he had an example of not thinking about her, mm -hmm. and it was about taking out the garbage. Oh, yeah. So when he thought of his wife about not doing things for her, it was taking out the garbage. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's your household duty. That's not doing anything for Kira. That's your duty yeah. to live somewhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But when he thinks of his wife, he's thinking garbage. That's yeah. what I took from it. Yeah. 
<laughs> but just understand that what he's saying is, I'm not going to think about doing things for you mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go off and do stuff like this, I'm going to go do this. Yeah. How toxic yeah. of a relationship that is. Mm -hmm. Because if it wasn't a toxic relationship and Kira did that, he could actually have had a civil conversation exactly. with her and they could have talked things through. Yeah. You know, and he could have mentioned that how he didn't like it or something like that. But instead he's like, well, if you're going to do this, then I'm going to do that. Yeah. I mean, what he did before that conversation was okay. Yeah. You know, his like, why did you do this? All that. That made sense. Yeah, that fine, was okay. Yeah. That was just like, he was just shocked because she did that. Also, make it clear, they're both in the wrong. She should not have done that. He should not have said things like that. Like I said, after he found out about the cats, there wasn't anything wrong with his reaction no. at that point when they were like in the living room. But then mm -hmm. when they left the living room, when they ha were having the conversation about, I can be, basically, I can be vindictive. That's where it became like, okay, dude, that's, that's a limit. Well, by the way, his first reaction to the cats mm -hmm. was pre-argument that after little spat they were having about mm -hmm. being vindictive towards each other mm -hmm. was post-argument. Yeah. They just turned off the camera oh, I remember. and argued. She said that. It she was said in, that they had turned off the camera it's in the at video. one point it, because they had an argument. It's in the video. It's in clips says yeah. after some arguing and talking or whatever. Yeah. She also later on goes to explain more of the situation too. Which I did make a video on called mm -hmm. Kira finally admits that she's afraid of Oscar. Mm -hmm. Where she goes on her Instagram stories and literally says that she fears his reaction. Says that yeah, she, she has tears in her eyes. Yeah. But says the beauty of YouTube is you can cut mm -hmm. those things out. Although if you didn't know Kira, I could see you not noticing it. But because you've seen Kira in emotional states before, you could see that she was emotional. Yeah. When she was showing him Well, she was cat. like hysterically laughing. It was like really awkward and weird. It nervous hysterical mm -hmm. laugh it wasn't a regular laugh it just seemed really off mm -hmm. Also, if she was being vindictive, that wouldn't be the case. She would be excited to show him. I mean, I still think she was being vindictive in a way. I mean, I think she wanted a pair of cats. And maybe she's just like, I have I an opportunity to get it. a pair of cats. Right. Yeah. So she had her opportunity. So she took it. Yeah. Which is whatever. But again, highly disrespectful. Also, because she could have had just a mature conversation with him. And it was like, I think it's good for the kids to have animals growing up. I had animals growing up and I enjoyed them. And it's good for them to learn how to take care of animals. Mm -hmm. It would have been better if they had a mature conversation about it. Maybe she just knew what his reaction was going to be. It was just like, well, then tell him you want that. It's okay to want an animal. Right. But here's the problem is that she got a pair of cats that he's allergic to. She could have got a pair of yeah. cats that he wasn't allergic to because they have those type of cats. That was the other thing we talked about was that she, you know, she has a friend who's gotten cats that uh, is a hypoallergenic cat. Let's just put friend with quotations yeah, there. But I'm just saying like if she really truly is her friend, she she would know to ask her. You're talking about Karen Swan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, they're not friends. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that also, she should have done that because he couldn't argue with that. If she had found a cat that was hypoallergenic, he wouldn't be able to argue with that because she went into thought, hey, he's allergic to these cats, to regular cats, so maybe I can get these cats so I can get a cat and he won't be allergic to the cat. Right. If she did that, nobody would be able to argue with her because it was just like she thought of him. Him, but she didn't think of him thing is though is that it was more than just him being allergic again they talked about not ever having cats how mm -hmm. they don't take care of pets or don't know how they're worried about their travels mm -hmm. no way you do not this is like one of my worst nightmares coming true i can't breathe with cats what about brushing them showering them taking the hair off everything we are dirt we are dirty as it is i'm not ready for this this is too much commitment all at once i've told kira for years years that we cannot get animals because not only are we not very good with animals we travel too much i feel like but what are we gonna do bring them with us on the rv and get them lost in the middle of nowhere like we're planning trips that are like weeks long i can't believe this is this is real dude i guess we are now cat people great Great. I... <sighs> But yeah, yet again, both of them are toxic. Both of them disrespect each other, just back and forth. Our Kira likes to keep going on and on and on about how people don't know them or their life, even mm -hmm. though that's what they show. She also explains, like, oh, these people highly explain things. Especially their life, mm -hmm. because that's literally what they built their mm -hmm. entire career and fortune on. They also was say their life. things like, the beauty of YouTube is that you can delete things. Yeah. You can cut things out. Oscar is definitely the type of person that if he's angry, 
he doesn't care who's around. He's going to, like, let it be known. Also, the beauty of YouTube is, well, at least the way we do it is we can, it's not live. We can cut things out, you know? We're not, like, sitting there with a live camera in our face. So we do have to edit the video. And to be honest, a lot of that video was cut. He had a pretty good reaction compared to what I thought he was going to do. Like, you can't tell this in the video but when I brought the cats out to him I had tears in my eyes because I was so terrified of how his reaction was going to be I had no idea I knew he was going to be upset but I didn't know how upset so I was so so nervous and you can probably tell if you like zoom in on the video um that I was so teary-eyed because of the fear that I had and then you have that example for saying that which means she cut out a response from Oscar because she knew that people saw that side of him they would look at them differently although it's kind of scary to think that though because if she kept the other part in what did she cut out exactly mm -hmm. if she feared him feared mm -hmm. his reaction was scared she said she was terrified what is she scared of because when you think about it people who are scared like that they walk on eggshells yes. every day yes. every minute of the day mm -hmm. she's the same way when it comes to uh like a stain in mm. the rug yeah i actually mentioned that in the video I, I say that she almost spilled some coffee and the first thing she does is not look at the coffee that she almost spilled she looks right out the window mm -hmm. to see if oscar was coming we're here for a serious topic such a serious one that i'm unbuckling and i literally found a parking lot to sit and park and chat about this we've got my starbucks today we've got a chocolate croissant spilled oh, coffee oh my god i already hear oscar yelling at me that's walking on eggshells that's her yeah. being scared of his reaction one of the kids did something on it like they're because they're kids i think like one of them got into her makeup in the bathroom or something like that and she was worried about oscar's reaction i don't know if she did it or if she was thinking about doing it. she was talking about hanging something up and i don't know if she did it and it left a nail mark in the wall or if she was going to do it and she was worried that it would leave a mark in the wall if she did it wrong but she was worried about his reaction hell to That's pay small yeah, things you can easily fix yeah, or cover up. exactly. Easy stuff. She's just like constantly Accidents. walking on eggshells about just little things that, well, it just happens when you have kids. Too. But hey, you know, like she says, communication is mm. key, guys. He's got a really, and it's very clear if you've watched him for a long time, he's got a very bad thing with like messes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dude, you have four kids. Just knowing who Oscar is, he probably would have a really bad reaction mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. But hey, how would we know? Mm -hmm. They cut those things out, even though they're so genuine with us, right? We know that there's things that they don't show us. We do know that. But there's also things that they do show us. See, we have this example of Kira cutting out something mm -hmm. that she doesn't want anyone else to see. Mm -hmm. And she just laughs it off and just says it's no big deal. But then we have that Instagram story of their little fight mm -hmm. that was an accidental live of something that was not supposed to be seen by the public. And it's Kira screaming at Oscar that he treats her like dirt. Mm -hmm. I know I say that a lot of my videos, but it is a prime example mm -hmm. of their relationship. That's it, what we don't see. It's what they don't want you to mm -hmm. see. Just like this next video I did called Jordan Cheyenne and the Dark Side of Family Vlogging where this peach of a person, vlogger, was filming their son crying and grieving about their dog or puppy. The puppy was sick and they had taken the puppy to the vet and the vet was treating the dog. Oh, at Parvo. Mm-hmm, yeah. If you watch the video, obviously the kid is not in a good place. He's scared for his little buddy. They just got excited about getting the puppy and then is the puppy sick and is, could die. So, understandably, he is sad and upset, mm -hmm. while the mom at first seems that way too, but then all of a sudden... It's quite obviously fake though. <laughs> yeah, uh, it actually was fake, but mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, there's like a switch. It yeah. just turned off. Like this. No, mom, that's actually, she's no, I know, but go like this. It really was. And she was trying to get her son to get in the camera and pose for the camera. She tells him to act, act like, like he's crying. sad. Act like you're crying. He's like, I am crying. Yeah. What? And she just continues to push it. Continues yeah. to push him. It's like she doesn't even believe that he's actually sad and crying. You're not sad. Doesn't mean he's not sad. Right? She's so worried about getting the right clip, the right thumbnail for the fucking video that she doesn't even care about her kids' emotions and feelings. She obviously doesn't give a shit about that dog. She's like, this is content, man. Because in the midst of it, she's filming this. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised she's not in there with the dog while it's sick. Um, Remember she said something about that? Oh yeah, she did, huh? And 
And she was saying, like, if I did show that, people would be mad that I showed that, but then I don't show it. She said something to that effect. It was something stupid. And we're just like, you shouldn't have filmed any of it. Yeah, you shouldn't None have filmed any of it. None of it should have been filmed. The car afterwards, like, you could have sat down later on and made a video talking about it, probably after the dog was done being sick. Part of me thought that she was lying about the dog being sick, you know? Because I just don't know. Yeah, but the kid showed his emotions, but she could also could have lied to him, so I don't know. Oh, no, these people are liars, man. She did not give a shit about the dog being sick. She was like, this is content. This is money. I can get this right now. And she did. She got it right away. Yeah. She got it filmed and edited and put out pretty much right away. When she's in the car with her son, Mm -hmm. I think that's literally right outside the vet. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. That's crazy. The fact that these people pick up the camera in like the most emotional, vulnerable, hard times, you're first thought isn't actually being there your first thought is money views and clout you're like i can make content out of this yeah and it's not like it's not something that youtubers talk about all the time they're like it's content you know Mm -hmm. like just fam with her flood in her house or whatever there was like flooding and it got ruined quite a bit basically she did an instagram story and she's talking about how it's content for you guys she's like it sucks but it's content that's exactly what we're saying though that's where your mind comes in you're like hey my grandma's dying that's content though guys yeah i mean the flood is like way better like film that okay but Mm -hmm. it goes beyond that Mm -hmm. i actually originally thought that there may have been some limits with these people there are no limits well and i think that jordan cheyenne thought that too because like you know they have such loyal followers that they're like people will stand with us no matter what yeah but there are limits kids are limits but also it's like she could have filmed them crying in the car and it would have been fine yeah it's the making obvious that what you're doing is fake that's not fine people don't actually care that she filmed her son crying they don't actually care no they don't even even care that they were she was filming during that time they care about what she said what she showed it's about showing the fakeness that's there yeah they don't actually care care that these people film these moments they care about the fakeness there that yeah. it was fake no that's true because if jordan cheyenne wasn't caught with what she was doing and the video was just still released mm-hmm. and nobody saw that behind the scenes mm-hmm. sort of thing then nobody would have bat an eye mm-hmm. they would have been like oh i'm so sorry praying for your yeah. dog you know which i hope the dog ended up being okay and i also think that afterwards when people saw that moment that she thought oh i can get rid of this real fast and it'll be fine i think she did think that because her attitude afterward wasn't like i'm actually sorry no it was kind of like attitude she did admit that when she first pushed it out and people were saying stuff about it she Mm -hmm. clipped it out Mm -hmm. as fast as possible Mm -hmm. but it was already too late yep she she has a lot of followers so yeah a lot of people which is funny because she said that she learned from her mistake or whatever Mm -hmm. but she literally tried to cut it out she just cut it out though she didn't take the whole video down she made sure to keep that video up for why she didn't learn anything for money she's like i still want that money though i'll cut that clip out but i still want that money anyways all you jealous haters that's about it now obviously this is not everything that we covered in september but don't worry part two will be out soon okay bye